My Old Ass, the newest coming-of-age comedy drama, is coming out. And I just saw it at the AMC Unseen Screening. So let's talk about it. Okay, so My Old Ass is a movie that looked very good from the trailers. I mean, you have your future self coming in and talking to you as a teenager trying to give you some life guidance about mistakes that they made, maybe what you can do better in your life and stuff like that, try to shield you from certain things that happen in life, but in a comedy drama sort of way. And look, I was really excited for this film. I was, man, I was like, Aubrey Plaza, she's fantastic. Cannot wait to see this movie. After seeing it, all I can say really is, this is really deep, really, really deep. Like you think the trailers give you like this comedy aspect of it and why there is comedy in here and the comedy does land. It is how funny when it needs to be funny. It doesn't overtake everything else in the film. It's just like this perfect, sweet sort of like feeling that you get that just is enough there to satisfy that comedy and, you know, hilarious side that you're looking for in this but within this movie it tackles some of the deepest themes i have experienced in a film before now this film really rests on the shoulders of living in the moment not taking life for granted love you know it it tackles all these themes that, you know, loss, dealing with pain, suffer, it has all these deep things that root into, I think, what everyone else experiences in life in a way of time doesn't stop for no one. Time just continuously moving. And it is the one thing we don't get in life back is time and just how valuable our time is on this planet. You know, and that's what this movie really tackles. It tackles about that, about living your life in the moment, experiencing life at its fullest. And a lot of us are guilty of not doing that. I mean, I am guilty of it as well sometimes. So, you know, sometimes scrolling through comments on my phone and stuff like that, rather than just being in the moment, being present, enjoying life to its fullest. And this really tackles those themes very deep. Like, there are so many moments in this movie where there's conversations going on that just hit emotionally at another level where you're sitting there and you feel like this is them talking to you in a way and you're just sitting there and you're like oh my word holy crap and I think those messages and those themes worked really really well in this film and what they were trying to go for and I thought it was executed really well because there was I, I lost count how many times I was just sitting there and I was like, wow, okay, that's, that's deep. That, that's heavy. That is some heavy stuff. And look, I'm someone that suffers from as well, like what is after life? Like what happens with, when we die and stuff like that? And I'm someone that has that. And like, there's this beautiful quote in the movie and stuff like that. It's like, when you're young, you're naive you're young and dumb. You don't think about anything else. You think you're invincible. You think you're not thinking about life and death. You're not thinking about who's going to die, what's going to happen later on in life. You're living in that present moment. And as you get older, you know, you start to think about more things like life and stuff like that. What's after and stuff as you, you know, obviously mature and, you know, you get older and stuff like that. And you start to get closer and closer and closer. Things start to run through your mind. And that's what this film really tackles is about that and how we can't change those things. They're going to happen eventually, but it's about the experience. It's about the journey. And that's what it's always been about. It's been about the journey, not the destination. You know, we have this goal, this destination in life that we want to reach in that, but it's the journey that makes that satisfying. And that's what this tackles. This movie tackles that sort of theme of like just enjoying it. And there was another thing in here when they were having a conversation, when two characters were having a conversation about when was the last time you remember just being outside pretending with your friends and then, you know, you know, zombies chasing you or something like that anything, what it can be, just you're using your imagination to play. 
the last time you ever did that with your friends and not knowing that that was going to be the last time you went to bed that night and then you woke up the next day and that never happened again. You had no realization that was going to be the last time or anything like that and how you can't remember that exact moment. And it's things like that that it just dives into that opens your mind and you go, wow, I, I never actually really thought of it like that. And it just gives you this whole new perspective on life in a way. And I mean, credit to the film to be able to do that because that is a tall ass to do. And I thought this movie executed that brilliantly to a level where I'm sitting there like, wow, okay, that's crazy. Like I do take life for granted for sometimes. Like I do do that. And I'm someone that loves life so much. Like life isn't perfect. Yes, don't get me wrong. Life is hard. It's not perfect. But I wouldn't change it for the world because I enjoy living. I enjoy, you know, surrounding myself with people, having fun with people, enjoying life, enjoying the little things, you know, enjoying my kids, you know, my wife, enjoying everything about it. Enjoy playing sport and all that, watching stuff together, talking about stuff, interacting with you guys. And this movie puts that in, you know, the whole idea of life into a new idea of what you think it could be which is very 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 good so that was great i thought the performances were great as well i mean old plaza is she's she is just fantastic man she is fantastic in this film she's not in it as much as i thought she was going to be in it but i understand why they didn't do that and i thought that was a good idea because it helps with the story that they're trying to tell and with the character arc that they're trying to tell of Elliot and how she's going through her stages of life and what, you know, in this time period of this short, like, few weeks of her trying to understand what she needs to do, how she needs to, you know, treat other people, enjoy things and stuff like that. So I thought removing her character, the older Elliot, away for a while actually helped and helped with the character growth and the story. And I think it's Macy who plays Elliot. She is fantastic in this film. She is really, really good. She carries this film on her shoulders because, you know, everything's revolving around her. It's about her character, about her life. And she's fantastic. She's really, really good. The cinematography is great. And like I said, the comedy is enough. You know, where, where you got all this heavy stuff and that you have the lighthearted stuff with the comedic elements and that. That don't take away from those moments, those heavy moments that you need, but it adds just another dimension to it where it's like, it's a bit of relief from that that makes you laugh a bit, you know, give you that little bit of happiness and hope in that after, you know, this whole deep conversation that they had. So I thought it worked really, really well. The balance was there. Nothing overpowered one or the other. It was like this perfect mesh that came together. So my old ass is a very pleasant surprise of how good it was. I, I mean, it looked good from the trailers, but I didn't expect it to be this good. I did not expect it to be this deep and diving with these themes. So I really enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought. Maybe you guys saw it. Smash your thoughts down in the comment section below. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video. Until then, stay safe and peace out.